Um, you know, our, uh, uh, there were really good stretches, you know, within the first period where I felt like we were able to get out of our zone, transition up ice, and, and you know, create either, you know, opportunities or, or some offensive zone time. Um, you know, our, our third period, I like, you know, there's a lot of stretches there. Obviously, at that point in time, you know, we'd, we'd been able to stretch the lead, which was a positive for us as well. Um, you know, on the flip side of it, you know, or we can we can clean up, you know, how uh, how well we execute with the puck, uh, especially in the second period, um, you know, and make sure that uh, we're, you know, we're, we're valuing that puck and, and taking care of things to give ourselves the best opportunity, you know, to play in the offensive zone rather than have to, you know, turn around and, and check 200 feet and, and play in our D zone. So I felt like, you know, in the, in the second period, especially there were stretches where we were a little bit sloppy there, even though during that time we were able to, to build a lead. There's not really one thing that that I would you know that I would put a finger on with uh, you know with uh, with Turbo. He you know and he's a guy that plays with pace. He plays hard with passion every shift. Um, he's confident when he has an opportunity. He's, he's he expects to you know to be able to uh, find the back of the net. Um, you know and and he doesn't. Uh, it, it's not like he's just out there. Uh, hoping or, or looking for you know an offensive opportunity, he's working 200 feet. So usually when you do that, good things happen, and, and that's you know that's the way he's been generating. Several, several of your goals last night gener- were originated from from your defense, mm-hmm. and uh, you know including one where Alexiak carried the puck in really deep. Is that, is that a sign that they're, they're gaining confidence in the system and in their specific roles? I, I I believe it's you know it's a sign that we're getting a little bit more connected as a group between our D and our forwards. You're, you know we're starting to see a little bit better uh, efficiency in terms of our transition, and sometimes that's just a simple uh, 10, 15, 20 foot bump uh, up ice to get our forwards going. Other times it's making a first pass and then and joining the you know joining the rush, joining the attack. Uh, you know, like Jamie did on uh, on Turbo's, uh, I think his first goal last night at uh, at net front. Um, so that's for me. It's a sign we're we're becoming a little more connected, a little more in sync. When you say connected, is that communication on the ice verbally, or was that just knowing where guys are going to be? Yeah, it, it, all of those things combined. Um, you know, but when it starts to when it starts to look right on the ice at game speed. Uh, that's you know that's when you know that's a good sign that it's starting to come. We still have a lot of work to do there. The consistency of it, um, you know, and the efficiency of, of what we're doing um, has to continue to elevate. Uh, but you know, you're you're seeing some good results from it right now. Dave, sure. when, when you talk about the second period wanting to clean that up a little bit, is that something that you want to deal with in terms of the long change, or was it just the flow and the energy of the game for you? Well, yeah, second periods are. You know, it's it's a possession period for sure, and we've been we've been pretty good in second periods, um, and we were able to build a lead in the second period last night. Uh, there were just stretches uh, where uh, we didn't start with the puck enough. Uh, you know, coming off the bench uh, during line changes, uh, I felt like Montreal started with the puck, <clears throat> excuse me, too often, and that has a way of generating momentum, especially in the second period. We've, yeah, we've we've played good teams every every night, and I know everybody looks at records and different things like that. But um, you know, I, I look at Minnesota and saying fundamentally they're they're a very good team, uh, they're an extremely competitive team, um, and and they're going to be a tough opponent tomorrow night. Jordan gets one last night uh, about a minute into the game, and he mentioned the details he's worked on playing with the Islanders and being a good wall player, an active stick and still keep shooting the puck. What example can that set for younger players when they go through droughts offensively? Well, just, yeah, just, just that, exactly that. Just, you know, just being an example. It's not something that uh, probably even has to be spoken to all that much. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a side conversation or a short conversation between two players, but, um, you know, just going out and doing it by, uh, by example and, and showing the right way to do things. Great. Thank you.